Hey, what's up, guys? How's it going, man? This is Chris, aka Fossy Play, and today you are going to see my face, my beautiful face. Um, whatever, right? Um, so now we're playing Dead Space 2. As I started my channel back in the days in uh, December, um, I played the first, the first part, Dead Space 1. Um, so it is on my channel, but unfortunately, it's only in uh, in German. Um, so the commentary and the the gameplay is German, unfortunately. Uh, maybe I will do a re-upload in some time. Well, when I switch to English, whatever. But now we're playing Dead Space 2. So I give you a brief rundown uh, regarding the story of the first uh, part. So in the first part, we played Isaac. Um, what was his last name again? I really don't know. Uh, Isaac, he was uh, some kind of a technician. Um, which was sent on a rescue mission to um, rescue the crew of the Ishimura uh, space station. But everything went wrong, right? Everything went wrong. There were lots of fucking faces, lots of uh, abominations, whatever. Uh, basically everything on the space station wanted to kill us. Everything, okay? But we managed to uh, get to all the stages, get to all the chapters. And um, at the end, it was about... Um, so the game centered around a... A marker, an alien marker, um, which was uh, which was dug uh, dug upon on the on the planet where the Ishimura um, um, was stationed on, and uh, this then transformed everything living, everything organic, into these horrible creatures. So we basically killed everything. We returned the marker, um, but there was the twist. There was a twist, and this is now spoiler. So if you don't want to hear it and you want to play the game for yourself, you haven't already. Be my guest. Now there's a bit of spoilers. So um, the marker was returned to Earth. This was only a some kind of uh, of a diversion. So the real marker was already transported to the Earth by the company. I really don't know the name right now. Uh, anyways, the company uh, transported the real marker to the Earth. Earth, and we didn't know that. So, and uh, one of our friends, um, Kendra, I think was her name, Kendra, um, she was working um, all along for this company and we um, didn't know that before the end, right? Yeah, this is basically it. This is basically it. And uh, just a side note, this marker drives everything insane. Everything uh, and everyone is um, was driven insane. Uh, they got lots of hallucinations, and Isaac um, also hallucinates. Um, he saw his um, his wife uh, that was already dead. So yeah. Now we're playing the second part. I played it once. I played it once, but it's maybe like ten years ago. So I don't know anything about the game right now. Although it's uh, played it uh, played on Earth. So let's hop in here. I hope you like my my new camera feature here. I. Uh, Put the the color um, in, in um, congruence with the uh, with the color here, so it's a bit bluish. And let's start. Ah, one second, guys. One second. Ah, so I didn't know that. Uh, so we can see here previously on Dead Space. Watch a movie that recaps the events on the Ishimura in Dead Space. You know what? I totally forgot that. Uh, totally forgot this. Um, I will run it and put it uh, separately so you can watch it again um, if you didn't know or you just want to refresh the story and you didn't want to hear about me uh, bragging about. So let's watch this movie. By the 25th century, Earth's resources were ravaged, consumed, exhausted. Desperate and on the verge of extinction, we cast out into the void of space and discovered rich new worlds waiting to be cracked open and stripped bare. All of Earth became devoted to this effort. The planet crackers were built, the USG Ishimura the first and most famous. Planet cracking became routine. Its spoils kept us alive. Eventually, greedy eyes fell upon Aegis Seven. Restricted for centuries for reasons unknown, Greed and corruption saw to the demise of caution. There, buried beneath the surface, an artifact, the Red Marker. Long lost and long forgotten, the
A religion I once called my own had found its holy grail, the key to human immortality. Or so we thought. It did not bring salvation. Witness the conviction of a true believer. It brought doom. Marker bred insanity, murder, and chaos. It bred necromorphs. Those who escaped the planet fled to the safety of the orbiting Ishimura. This is Shuttle CSO-4. The colony's overrun. We can't go back. The scourge released upon Aegis-7 came with them. Within hours, the Ishimura went dark. The corporation dispatched a small repair crew to check on its investment. Seems like everyone was trying to pack in a hurry. Among the crew was an engineer, Isaac Clark. Isaac, it's me. He had something special about the Ishimura. I wish I could talk to you. I'm... In the darkness, Isaac found death. holy, it was not alien, it was man-made, and it could be used to stop the outbreak. Isaac also found Nicole. Thank you, Isaac. I always believed you. Dead by her own hand, she was an apparition of the marker. Isaac engineered his escape. But everything else was destroyed. Three years later, he wakes in a hospital on Titan Station, an EarthGov metropolis on Saturn's largest moon. Isaac has survived, but his mind is no longer safe. For the marker changes all. All right, there you had it, guys. There you had it. The resolution of this movie was absolutely terrible. But I think at the end there was this, um, this DLC, right? Extinction or what was it called? I never played it. Uh, so then let's start a new game. Casual, normal, survivalist, zealot. Uh, normal. Okay, let's see. As I said earlier, I didn't know anything about this game. I don't know anything. Because it's so long. Isaac, are you there? Come in, Isaac. Oh God, I'm so sorry, Isaac. Look at the time difference. No, no, I'll call you back okay. later. It's okay. How are you doing? Good. You're right, Isaac. The Ishmer is a great ship. I am so lucky to be serving aboard her. Enjoy it while it lasts. You know they're gonna decommission her next year. Isaac, thank you. For what? For just pushing me to do this. I mean, if it weren't for you, I never would have made it this far, because you made me stick with it. Well, just remember, I'm giving you up for six months so you can do this. You know what? We must be getting an arranged thing, Isaac. Isaac, can you hear me? Look, I'm going to call you back as soon as I can, okay? Isaac! Isaac! You were drifting away for a moment there, Mr. Clark. I believe you were telling me about your nightmares that you've been having. About your dead girlfriend. What was her name? 
Nicole. I didn't want it to end like this. I really wanted to see you again. Just once. I loved you. I always loved you. Yes. Nicole Brandon. She was a senior medical officer stationed aboard a Planet Cracker class vessel. Ishimura. USG Ishimura, yes. Part of a mining operation on Aegis 7. I understand communications went down shortly after their arrival. You were part of the repair mission. A mission for which you volunteered, am I right? What did you find aboard that ship, Isaac? They found something. What did they find aboard the ship, Isaac? The marker. Did you have contact with this marker? It made you see things, didn't it? Things you didn't want to see. It spoke to me. What did it say, Isaac? What did it say to you, Isaac? Isaac! Isaac, can you hear me? Isaac. Isaac, can you hear me? Dana, I found Isaac Clark. Repeat, I have him. Great work, Franco. Be careful. He's been out a long time. Oh, yeah. Okay. Good, good. Steady, steady, steady. We gotta get you out of this straitjacket. Where, where am I? All right, I, I know you're confused right now. I can explain everything, but you gotta trust me, okay? Listen, you're in terrible, terrible danger. <laughs> Yikes. Oh god. Isaac! Isaac Clark, if you can hear me, run! Oh my god. Okay, okay. Straight to the action, man. Straight to the action. I fucking hate this game. <laughs> okay, uh, where do we go? Dude! What, what, what is this running, man? This is the running. This is walking. Ah, fuck. I really hate quick time events. Poor oh, man. Uh, okay, one thing. Uh, one thing. Let's check one thing here. All right. I needed to adjust the brightness a bit. Okay. Okay. Um. Yeah. Let's see, man. Chapter one. All right. Ah, the beloved sta uh, safe stations. Look at this mess here, man. Where's the fucking janitor? Okay, I really love these uh, safe stations. I remember from, from uh, part one. I need something to heal, man. Yikes. That's a yikes. Okay. Fuck oh, off. Ah, oh, God. This is Director Tideman to all project personnel. I want the key subjects terminated and the facility scrubbed. This is not a drill. Tideman out. Not a drill, guys. Not a drill. At least we get to see uh, his face, his beautiful face. The first part, he always has this helmet on. From from uh, day one, man. One thing I did is was uh, because this is a very old game, I did pim it up a little bit. I uh, adjusted some some anti-aliasing, some super sampling. Uh, let's see. Well, the eyes looking much better today, yeah? Don't you think? <laughs> it hurts. It still hurts. Yes, I'll schedule you for another session tomorrow. 
Hey, no, no, I, I don't think I'm ready. I, I don't think I can take another session out. Yeah, first thing tomorrow. Now yeah. let's talk about what you saw today. Come on, Strauss. I'm here to help you. It was black. Deep black and glowing red with symbols. Symbols whispered to me. And what did the symbols whisper to you? Come on, Strauss. What? It was just sharp. It was just sharp, but I put so much stuff in my head, so much shit in my head. There's no more room for anything. I can't remember what she looks like, but I can't remember. The symbols, Strauss. What did the symbols tell you? They told me that it wasn't my fault. I didn't kill him. They didn't deserve this, and I didn't deserve this. <laughs> Fucker. Put Mr. Strauss back in stasis, suggest his medication up 30 milligrams, and we'll try another session first thing in the morning. Subject is Nolan Strauss. Okay, Should where do we have to go, huh? Am I blind? Oh my god, I thought no. this was a this was a hole here. Oh god. No one know uh how birds must feel if they flash across the uh, the windows. Today, yeah? Don't you think? Okay. It hurts. It still hurts? Yes, I'll schedule you for yeah, another session here, right? tomorrow. No, 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 I, I don't think I'm ready. I, I don't think I can take another session. Yeah. Dude, I really need some some medicate. Oh, hey. Oh my God, this is a fucking nut job. Come on, man. Yes. There's no escaping from what I've done. <laughs> take it easy, buddy. <laughs> Just take it easy. Your rig is red. It's red. It's a health bag and a flashlight in that wall locker. You should grab them. Go ahead. Take it. Health coming through, I boys. Needing it anymore. Small med pack. Nice. Press Q. Okay, I remember this. Okay, flashlight. Isaac, uh, we're all gonna burn for what we did to you. Dude, this is the thing, man. I mean, when we when we get across some some people here, right? You would think, oh, hey, they are nice people. No, man, man, they're all fucking nut jobs, and they all kill each other uh, themselves. I mean, or each other. Okay. At least we got a flashlight. Clark, Isaac Clark, is that you? Who are you? My name is Dana. I'm the one trying to rescue you. Why? What's going on? You're suffering from a unique form of dementia, Isaac. Something you contracted on age seven. How do you know that? How do you know all this about me? Your dementia will kill you. But if you can get here, I can treat you and get you to safety. Why should I trust you? Because I'm not the one shooting at you. Fuck. Just follow the route I'm sending you. Okay. Sounds a bit like Kendra from uh, the first part. And she was a fucking bitch. Press and hold B. Okay. I think this was different in uh, in uh, the first part. What what I always like about this game uh, or Dead Space in general was the lighting, the the shadows and the lighting. I mean, I mean, this is really really awesome. You see, in the lighting, you have this kind of 
a bit of fogginess or what, what we would call it. I mean, it's just because of this, of this light here. Looks really cool. Uh, hold to aim flashlight. Yes. Doing that. Way ahead of you. It's the tutorial. Mm. Okay. Let's go through, man. Fucking jump scares, man. Okay, this way is blocked. Let's go this the other way around here. Safe. Beautiful safe station. Okay. Click it. I'm still needing more health here. And I have no weapon. Nice. Look at this. It looks really cool, right? Uh, theme here. I mean, I think this game is from 2010? 11, 12, maybe? that you may want to criticize is uh, this game is very linear uh, like the first part and I've played the Dead Space 3 so I don't know about that uh, these games are really linear Stasis. Aim and press to grab loose objects. Okay. Hold. And press. Ah, oh, yeah. Oh my god. Come here. Come here. Oh my god. It didn't work. It didn't work. Run, you fucking piece. Dude, how is he? Not running, he's walking. Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay. I forgot about the uh, the uh, hitting hitting mechanic. Because the enemies uh, are really easy at the uh, at the moment. Totally forgot about this. Okay. Okay. Yeah, cool, man. What was the inventory again? Tap, right? Alright, okay. Fucking monsters, she's there too now. What? Okay. Got them. I got them. No worries here. Okay. Yeah, credits. This. 
pick everything up here. Uh, can I grab this one? No. Yeah, yeah, shut up, man. Um, I think we are nearly done here, right? Uh, now we need to get up here. Sometimes these uh, these necromorphs here aren't really dead. They're just pretending. <coughs> Fucking pretenders, man. Come on, open! Press space to loot cops and containers. Oh, ah, yeah. <coughs> Okay. Dude, this one. This one dead. Melee. Now he's telling me to melee. Help! Help! Is someone there? Anyone? Yikes. Um, can I help this guy? I hear you, man. I hear you. I'm Can coming in a, in a second. Just need to loot. What the fuck are you doing? I'm looting, man. I need to need to loot in order to help you. No. What? Okay, I cannot. Whatever. I don't know why, but okay. Help us, cool guy. You. You. Thank God! Please come help me. Uh. Jesus, man, help me! Would you fucking help me? Calm down. I'll cut you out of there. Is that a tissue laser? A plasma cutter? Oh my God! Fuck! What the fuck are you oh, doing? Shit! Help! I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. Yikes! Uh. Wait a minute, there was a... Uh, where was this function you could... Ah, this one is better. To uh, sever these uh, limbs. You fucking joking, man. Always good to sever the limbs here. Okay. So, the aiming is, is good, the sensitivity, okay. The first one was way worse. This, this one has more, was better developed, I think, regarding the mechanics. Shut up. Okay. Isaac, it's Dana. You have to dismember the creatures to stop them. I know. I've had a lot of practice. Just try to stay in one piece. Thanks. <laughs> okay, I can save here. Let's do this. Yep, yes. Okay, I guess. Yeah. Only ways here. Something like this. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Fucking kidding me, man. Where? Where? Oh god, reloading. Oh. 
It's bit silly that you sometimes have to uh, have to melee them again in order to get get the loot. I think this is a bit silly. Okay, manual reload. Ah, uh, yeah. The way to go. Then let's check here first. Yes, I know manual reload. This is the blocked off here, or what is this? Okay. Huh. Yes, well. Good. And let's move on. And I really wanted to know that you have to sever the limbs in order to effectively kill them. Which is fine. Which is totally fine. I think it's a good way of telling uh, new players. Okay, this way. Um, let's just check here first. The guy from the hey, uh, video. The fucking route didn't work. There's a security lockdown. I told you to hurry. How'd you miss it? Look, I don't need your help. Fine. Let's see how long you last without it. Shit. Where? Something. Fuck off. Uh, there is. Uh, okay. Dana. Dana. Okay, you're right. I do need your help. Talk to me. Look, Isaac, we don't have to be friends. But like it or not, we're stuck together. Tideman's your enemy, not me. All right, I found you a new route. Fine. So where the hell am I? How did another Necromorph outbreak get started? You're on Titan Station orbiting Saturn. As for the outbreak... <laughs> Shit! Tideman's jamming my signal! Okay. Uh, we found a text lock. Let's uh, read this. Uh, how do I, can I navigate this shit? Dude. How do I navigate this, this shit? Uh, like us. Okay. Um, database. Wait a minute. This is right. A anxiety spike. Okay. Please refer, refer all registrants complaining of anxiety and or psychological problems to the other hospitals in the area. We are booked and running low on mood elevating medications. With the recent CEC layoffs and the increased tensions between unitologists and Earth government, I thought that was enough of a spike in cases. This new wave is something entirely different, Dr. Brian Alpus. Alright guys, I think I will call the day here. So... We still have to manage to, uh, we still have to escape this area here and uh, meet with the strange woman. 
um, who I think is generally uh, a good guy, a good, a good uh, person. Um, and uh, yeah, it's uh, basically the same uh, thing as in uh, part one. We just have to uh, escape these fucking monsters, and we have to sever much, much, many, many limbs. Um, yeah, this is it. So I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the first part. And uh, feel free to comment below. Um, did you play the game before? Did you play the first part? Or did you only play the most recent part? That's base 3. Um, yeah, anyway guys, that's it for now. Take care.